Italian pride on display today as hundreds of people lined up the streets for the Columbus Day Parade. The celebration returned this year for the first time since the start of the pandemic. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch live on the Upper East Side tonight with more. Vanessa. We're standing along Fifth Avenue that looks a lot different now than it did just a couple of hours ago when about 35,000 parade participants and roughly estimated 1 million spectators took over this stretch. From the center lane to the sidewalks, Happy Columbus Day. Italian American pride poured down Fifth Avenue today. It's a dream. I come every year and I love it. Spiced up the stretch from 47th to 72nd streets as vibrant floats, famous faces, officers on horseback, and hot cars wowed the crowd. Today marks the 77th annual Columbus Day Parade, and those we spoke to are thrilled to be back together to celebrate. This is the moment of the hugs. This is the moment to see each other in the eyes. I've been marching in this parade since I'm about three years old when my father was a police officer. So I carried on the tradition. It's amazing. I like hearing, you know, everybody scream Italy, Italy with all the flags and just see how much it really means to be an Italian. He was the great explorer. If it weren't for him, where, where would we be today? So we'd have to remember that. President Benjamin Harrison signed the law creating the holiday in 1892. Two, a year after 11 Italian immigrants were lynched in New Orleans and at a time when Italians in America faced discrimination. Columbus was commissioned by Queen Isabella of Spain and after Columbus, many Spanish explorers followed, bringing Hispanic culture, language and religion to Mexico, the Caribbean and South and Central America. While Columbus Day gets celebrated along Fifth Avenue on this second Monday in October, many around the country celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day. We are honoring our ancestors. President and First Lady of the Navajo Nation, Jonathan and Fafilia Nez, spoke with CBS 2 News via Zoom from the Pueblo Cultural Center in New Mexico. The whole idea of bringing inclusion and equity into uh, mainstream America that's just allowed us to open the lens and just bring uh, light to the fact that indigenous peoples have been here even before Columbus and that we're still here. No matter where we're, we've been and stepped on or oppressed, we have managed to overcome these adversities throughout the history of this country. A day of recognizing our roots across the nation. A day filled with remembering and celebrating. The White House issued a proclamation today that stated in part, let today be one of reflection on the work that remains ahead of us to fulfill the promise of our nation for all. We are live on the Upper East Side. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Vanessa, thank you. And